Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to bake down your PCG graph in case you have a very complex one and you wanna kind of edit it as well as move it without changing its positions by baking it down to both a blueprint where you have your full control and you have your full instances still set up, but it is just a clean blueprint of just the assets it has generated and a static mesh where you can now just take it and use it as a regular asset with the configuration you've done. So effectively you'll be using PCG to create variations of your setups instead of having it all live. So with that, let's get into it. Here I am with one of my previous tutorials that I've done showing how to set up some tables and chairs, but let's say you want to bake this down. Let's say you wanna kind of optimize this, or for example, you have a small area, maybe something like this, and you're very happy with the configuration in one of these setups, and you just wanna kind of lock it down. Uh, lock it down and then move it somewhere else effectively. So there's a few ways of doing this. So let's say this configuration here, I'm happy with, this is exactly what I wanted. Now I wanna just move it to the side. But as you see, as I move it, right, of course it regenerates because it is position-based. If I snap it exactly into the same place as it was, then it'll go back to the same position. So if I go between these two, right, it's gonna always be these two exact configurations because that's how that's how the PCG uh, randomization is works. It's on position. So there's a few ways to do it. Starting with, if you scroll down, in your detail panel and select the PCG, you have a clear PCG link button here. You can click that and that clears this PCG, but you see your assets are still here. You can actually click on them. And what you're left with is a blueprint of just the assets. And they're all still instant static meshes or hierarchical instant static meshes. So now I can just move this around as its own thing. And that also means that because it is its own blueprint, I can now go in here, select Press this button that looks like a kind of the blueprints section as though it's top left here. Click the blueprint button. And now I can save this as an actor. And now I have this exact configuration. And here's my full blueprints and all the all the tables and chairs are all here. And I can go ahead and if I want to, I could move things around as well. But this is, uh, while this is nice, this isn't fully baked down, right? So while this is better than having it live and it does allow you to actually move it around, as you see, we still kind of want to potentially bake this down into a static mesh. So maybe you can use this to generate a setup where it's gonna work for something like mobile or something else that needs to be a little more optimized. So the other option is yeah, you can do this from this piece or from here, you can merge it all together. Now <clears throat> in Unreal, there is the under actor, convert whatever it is to static mesh. And if you select it, you think that should work and you try to save it, if I try doing that, what it's gonna do is stack everything at origin and on top of each other. And this is, we we don't want this. Don't use that option. But if you go under actor merge actors, then you can use the merge option. And I'm gonna go ahead and save it under PCG. And I'll just save it as the default for demonstration. Of course, you'd wanna name it as you would. And now I can open it up. And here is our entire static mesh with the exact setup we have. And I can, of course, now drag it out. So what I can do effectively is take a few configurations of this and then just go in and clear the link, bring to the side, regenerate it, go down, clear the link, kind of move to the side, and then I can go ahead and do merge these guys. I can also, because we're using the merge option, combine these. So if, for example, I really liked these all together, right? I can just now make a new setup with all of these together by just going back to actors, merge actors. Now you can also go to the merge actor settings. There's some nice settings in here, uh, starting with the ability to just turn on Nanite automatically, change your light map resolutions, anything you need. But when you're happy, you just hit merge actors in the bottom right. And depending on how complex your actors are and how many of there are, it will take longer or shorter to do this. Afterwards, you can just go ahead and open it up and you're back to having a single static mesh of everything together kind of baked down. So here it is, here's our full configured. So now you can go ahead and use this in your level wherever you need. And the reason I bring this up is because a lot of times people are like, well, this is great, but like I would like to have one control over this. Uh, and two, this seems like it'd be very expensive to have like a large scale, something like this in the world. Even though I'm not currently modifying it, it could be a little more optimized by not having everything as a separate instance. By having it all as one, it would be a little more optimized. This is a quick one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. 
If you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.